Hey, guys, how's it going? So today I am getting ready for a gig. I have a couple of gigs this weekend. Uh, I am playing with my buddy uh, Fu. If you guys have watched my videos, you know him. And uh, we're going to do a three guitar player in a band weekend. So you guys may have seen me doing a lot of like three piece stuff in the past or with maybe one other guitar player. This weekend, we're going to have uh, three guitar players in the band. Should be interesting, but be a nice variety of music and will be really fun. And I'm lo looking forward to it. Um, I had a question the other day from someone that uh, reached out to me, uh, one of the viewers here on YouTube, and asked, uh, Rich, I live in a not so populated area of the world and I have a hard time finding people to play with. And how do I get into a band? It's a question I've got a couple times. These days, it's there's a lot of resources to do it. Uh, online, social media, you can find people. Uh, your local area, if you have a local guitar shop, putting up flyers. Uh, for me, it has always been complete word of mouth getting in bands. It has, I've never gotten into a band where... Uh, I put something out on the internet and I got into a band that may work for some, but for me, uh, um, years ago, I found the people that I wanted to play with and, uh, I continue to play with those people and it's just easy because nobody wants to get together and rehearse <laughs> and, and we're all such good players that we just get together and we can play songs. And even if we don't know a song as good as we should know it. Uh, we will know it by about playing it after playing it like once. So um, you want to find the people that are on your same level and you want to find the people that uh, you get along with and that make being in a band fun. And if you can do those three things, the fun part, people you get along with and people that play music on your same level, then I think you're going to have something there. For the most part, if you're a pretty good player and you can find people that are better than you, uh, even better because then you're going to learn a ton. And from that experience of those other players, it's just good to have, uh, some mentors, especially if you're just starting out in bands, if you can get with some more experienced players, if you're decent, cause if you're not that good and you're wanting to play with some experienced players, they're not going to want to play with you. Uh, so you need to be to a level where you can play. Otherwise you kind of need to find players that are on your same level, if that makes sense. Uh, but for me, I kind of found dudes I liked playing with uh, throughout the years. And you just kind of stick with those people because it's easy and it's simple and it vibes and it just gels. And so that's my answer to that question. I hope that helps anyone out there looking to get into a band. Uh, a lot of you guys that might just be bedroom players, but if you are looking to get in bands and stuff, that would be the key. Anyway, this weekend I am heading over to Logan, Utah play at the country club up there. And then Saturday night, we're going to be heading to a place called Cooper's in Bear Lake. Uh, Bear Lake is this big old, huge freshwater lake that sits on the border of Utah and Idaho. It's really beautiful. I might go up there with my family and do some paddle boarding and just hanging out before that gig. Maybe we'll get some footage of that. Anyway, guys, you're welcome to come along on this video and uh, join me for my weekend. Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by the Ceremonic Rodeographer Kit. It's basically the ultimate content creation bundle for musicians and bands, and I'm going to be using it this weekend to record my gigs. Basically, all the sound you hear from in this video will be uh, recorded using the microphones from this kit. The kit comes with an all-weather camera gear backpack, a gimbal, a tripod, and a smartphone clamp. It comes with a V-Mic mini shotgun mic and a smart mic mobile mic. A plug-in power mic, no battery is needed. Uh, windscreens, uh, all the cables you need, uh, the gimbals. It's basically the ultimate kit for uh, shooting with your smartphone or with the camera or with both if you want to do like dual shots. So I'm going to be using it this weekend. We are also going to be doing a giveaway. The way that you guys can win this is just to put a comment in the video of what your favorite guitar solo is and in what song. 
by what artist, and then I will announce the winner at the next video, and I will be choosing at random who wins this item. All right, so this is all the stuff you get with this kit, you guys. You get a tripod, you get a external mic for either your DSLR camera or your phone. You get all the cords to hook that up with. The only cord I did not see that did not come with this is like if you have an iPhone and don't have an audio in, or I think almost all the new phones don't have a, a headphone jack in anymore. And so you have to buy the little USB extension cord. And maybe I'll put a link to that down in the comments. Uh, another jack, really cool uh, motorized gimbal that has a mic attachment. This little mic, you just plug right in it. And that way you have good audio while you're out with your gimbal. And um, if you want to vlog, then it comes with a case for the gimbal, a case for the tripod. Um, I've got my phone hooked up to this tripod. This little piece right here on top is really, um, really well made. Everything seemed really well made and the packaging was amazing. This, uh, I was really impressed with how well everything was packed. And then this awesome backpack to fit all this stuff in and also any other gear you might have the top opens up and you can put stuff in there and there's some pockets and then the back opens up and you can put all the accessories in and everything's accessible in this little teeny backpack and you're ready to record your gigs or whatever else you guys want to record um for me it's going to be my gig vlogs of course and uh anyway uh i will announce the winner at the next video and so just make sure you guys answer the question below and I will pick at random who gets this whole kit. Again, it's, I think it's almost a $400 value of stuff, which is really cool. Uh, and you can use a lot of the stuff. If you have a regular camera as well, you don't have to just use it with your phone. But for me, I'll probably just be using all this stuff with my phone. And uh, anyway, you guys, good luck. And yeah. All right, guys, I'm out on my, I'm out on my old man walk that I sometimes take because I have to get my energy levels up. So I should usually go out and do a walk every day. At least I try to, and I'm testing out this external mic that's connected to my phone. And I'm hoping that the audio is better than what I've been using, or at least the same. Uh, but you guys let me know what you think. If it sounds better. I think it sounds pretty good. I've listened back to it so far, but I won't know until I listen back in the full video. So just a little fun fact about where I live. Um, there's two landmarks as you drive by our little town on the freeway. And you can see them from the freeway. The freeway being out there. You can actually see, I think, a gas station right out here from the freeway. Anyway, the two landmarks I'm talking about are one, the Mormon temple or the LDS temple and this flour mill right here. Fun fact, my brother owns that flour mill and it's called Big J Flour. And if you live in Utah or out west here and you've eaten bread at a restaurant or rolls or anything made with bread or pizza, they probably use my brother's flour, um, Big J Flour. Just a little fun fact, Mormon Temple, Big J Flower Mill. This used to be the tallest building in town, but now the temple, I think, has a beat. All right, guys, we are at gig number one. We are at the country club in beautiful Cache Valley, Utah. It. And I think tonight is a private party. I'm not sure what we're playing for. I think it is a private party for our members of the country club. Let's head in though. We're going in.
I just don't like to film. It just, it's, uh, sometimes it's, I just don't want to be doing anything with my phone at all. And so that's what that's all about. Anyway, so we are in Logan Canyon right now. And in a few minutes, we are going to be dropping into Bear Lake. Uh, this is one of my favorite canyons to drive. It's really pretty. Uh, on the way through, there's Beaver Mountain Ski Resort, where I spent a good majority of my youth learning how to ski. Uh, I grew up with friends that had dads that were ski instructors and who were really into snow skiing and so that's another talent I possess that I don't really utilize that much anymore because I can't afford it. <laughs> but yeah, um, 
night we're playing at a little place called Cooper's Overlooks the Bear Lake. Really pretty and should be fun. And maybe I'll film a little bit more of that tonight and we'll get some footage of uh, dropping into Bear Lake here in just a minute. From where? From Kemmer, Wyoming. Oh. Yeah. Who's here for Kemmer? Yeah. Yeah, I love it. When are you getting married? July 31st. <laughs> All right. Okay. It's so yeah. good to have you here. Her name's Lexi. She's getting married. What's her name again? Lexi. 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 Sexy Lexi. Yeah. Yeah. Sexy Lexi. Yeah. Sexy Lexi. Right on, right on. We love Kimmer. We really do. That's a cool place. We've got cool women from there, too. Unless you want to. You want a song for it? Like, what kind of... Okay, let me think. Let me think here. Okay, here's a good one for you. It's going to be a good one. Okay, so don't... So this is a story of a girl. You just ruined it for me, Phil. Okay. <laughs> This is the story of a girl The crowd of every the whole world oh, yeah, Oh, she go. looks so sad in photographs I absolutely love her When she's rest of your life. Like listening to this band.
I don't request another song like that until tomorrow. No. Which one? Oh, Euro Trilby, right? Yeah. yeah. I know it, but these guys would. <laughs> these guys are so much older than me. They wouldn't. Know. We are so old. <laughs> you can't do it. We are no. so old. You think up another one, dude. Okay. And this guy's ready to gamble, man. He got his money out and everything. And I tell him, no way. We can't do that in front of you guys. <laughs> What's up?
keep your hand to yourself.
short break, we'll be back in about 10 minutes. Guys, a practice. This is a practice. Pay practice. Thank you. Is that okay if we practice for you? <laughs> what, what did you say there, young lady? She said it sounds like you've been practicing all night. No, she said we're hired. You're hired. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I thought I heard fired. Yeah. No, you're not fired yet. Don't worry. <laughs>
One more. One more. Wow, you guys. So I don't know if you can see this. This is the lake. It's about midnight in Bear Lake. This is the moon reflecting off of Bear Lake here in the Idaho side. Just gorgeous out here. Had the most wonderful gig uh, playing with a bunch of great guys and just a great time it was. Just absolutely spectacular views up here and uh, just a great time was had. Great food, I had crab legs and all sorts of uh, delicious food. And I uh, can't complain. Um, seeing views like this at night on my way home is just absolutely spectacular. Uh, I think it actually is darker than what you guys are seeing on, the, on my camera. But um, anyway, you guys, if you're new here and you've watched the spar in my video, uh, I just ask you to please like and subscribe. And uh, we will see you Oh, and hit that bell, and we will see you at the next video. Adios.